Okay, in this video, we're going to create some custom stairs for a condo. We're going to go from level one to level two. The elevation from level one to level two, um, you can see here in the, uh, the elevations here, we can see the change. So we're going to be going up 10 feet. So as we create the custom stairs, it's going to know how many risers we need to get up to 10 feet. So I go back to my floor plans. I'm going to create these in level two, so I kind of know where they end up. And then I'm going to send them down to level one. That's how I like to create my stairs. So under the architecture tab, under the stair command, I'm going to hit the fly down button and go to stair by sketch. If I click on stair by sketch, I can create the boundary and then the risers. After that's done, the run will be created. So I'm just going to click on boundary and I'm going to do a three point arc here. And I want my stairs to kind of flare out to the bottom level. So let's just say I'm going to use this line as a line of reflection later. I'm going to create my, uh, my stairs coming out and down. And I'm going to create this uh, kind of edge to how I want it to uh, flare out. And I'm going to mirror that uh, over, select it, finish selection, and pick my reflection line. So now that mirrors over. Okay, and you'll have to draw that reflection line before. You can't use the uh, sketch lines to draw that. And now that I have these, I need to create my risers. Now, it already knows that I have zero risers created, and I need 18 risers in this length to be able to get up to my next level. Um, so I'm going to create my risers as we go here, and I'm going to use the offset command to, um, to basically help create each of these. So I'm going to create one all the way across. Okay, so this is one riser created. Then I'm going to offset what I want my tread depth to be. So I'm going to use the offset command here. And if I want my tread depth, let's say, to be 11 inches, so I'm going to go to, let's say, 0 feet, 11 inches. Then as I create each stair, it creates the riser going up. If I wanted this thing to turn, I can do that. And I can just turn my riser. So essentially, if there's a landing, it's going to be one giant riser. So I have three more remaining. So let's say I did need to turn this and to uh, create a, a landing here. I can go to my boundary. And I can connect here and let's say go four foot or three foot back. If I zoom in a little bit, I have a little more control. Looks like it's snapping over and that's fine. We can change that dimension. Let's say to just four feet. And I can go and draw that out to whatever I need it to be. I can do the same thing from this end and draw out to wherever I need it to be. Then I can go and I can continue to do my risers. So, for example, I'll go across this way. And I know this is a little slanted, not a big deal right now. I'm going to go to offset, and I'm going to offset the same way until all of my risers have been created that I need. And so, let's see, 18 risers created, zero more remaining. Now I can basically take the lines that I had created here, and I can bring these back to my, uh, to my tread. The last thing I need to do is trim up these risers to my boundary lines. And to do that, we can use a trim command um, to basically help trim and extend. Trim extend multiple elements. And so what we'll do is just highlight the elements that we want to cut and the boundary that we want to cut them with. So boundary first. And then we're going to be selecting the items to cut other way. <laughs> Boundary first, let's do. And the items to cut, or to keep. Do the same thing on the other side. Boundary first, items to keep. And probably could have done that at one command to save some time. Same thing with this. I'm going to need to extend these risers out to the boundary line. So make sure you look at those fine details, see how this line is going on at an angle. I need to make sure I get to that. So boundary items we're keeping, it extends, extends out. And I probably could have selected once again both boundaries and make sure that those extend. Once I have that created, I can hit the checkbox on that. And my stairs will have been created. And then we can just hit spacebar on the stairs to change the direction of the run. Uh, as needed. So take a look at these in 3D. And let's go into the uh, floor plan. We can see that this is going from level two to level three right now. If I click on that, 
let's change the base level to level one and we'll change the top level to level two say apply and now we have that going down now it's going the opposite way that i want so we can change the run on that uh, as needed so if we go to let's say level one here if we wanted this to be uh, wider at the bottom and then um, short and going up to a shorter part at the top at its sketch and we can change uh, the actual um, direction that our stairs go um, actually not through edit sketch but just by clicking on our, our arrow here should be able to change the direction of these stairs um, so that arrow that I clicked on is uh, just right here well <laughs> right here is where it is 